Good morning, it's surgery day and I'm about to head to the surgery center in about 30 minutes. So I got up, I showered, I wasn't supposed to eat past midnight last night or drink past um, 8 a.m. this morning. My check-in is at 10.30 and I think I go into surgery around 11.30, 11.45. So haven't had anything to drink since I woke up. Um, I tried to sleep in as late as possible. Took a shower, um, I washed my hair and blew it out last night and I'm gonna just stick it in a ponytail and hope that it lasts all week because I'm not supposed to wash my hair unless someone does it for me until I get my cast off, which happens a week from today. So a week from today, around this time, I'll be getting my cast off, which is so exciting. Between now and then, I have to go get my nose operated on and recover. So we've got, we've got a long road ahead of us, but I'm excited and I just wanna get this over with. <laughs> so the quick background on why I'm getting my nose done. I honestly, looking straight ahead in the mirror, don't dislike my nose. When I see it from like an above angle, I can see it's very crooked or when I use the front camera, I can definitely see that it curves. So that's the thing I don't like from the front, but the biggest issue that I've always had is from the side, there's a bump and it looks quite different from the two different sides that I have because of the deviation down the middle, my two sides look very different. So there's a lack of symmetry that I don't like. There's the hump in the middle that I don't like. And what I want is something that fits my face, that like suits my natural features. And that's how, that's why I chose my doctor. Cause I think that he has done a good job with other people matching their faces and giving them traditionally beautiful noses, but not like ski slope noses. Surgery outfit of the day. <laughs> I've got some leggings on, a zip up sweatshirt, some sandals which slip on really easily. And then I've got my bedside table ready for when I come home. So my pajamas, um, some socks, my water. I've got the bed set up so I have a little boat to sleep in um, so I can't like tip over. We also have like a neck pillow like for traveling on airplanes that I'm gonna wear when I sleep to help me keep upright. Um, so that's all set up. And then I bought a humidifier in case we want humidity. I just took off all my jewelry, um, took out my contact lenses, put on my glasses, and I have my little folder with all of my information, my pre-op instructions that's coming with, and I think we're about to head out the door. Can't believe this is happening. Yeah, you're right. my ID and I'm just hanging out. I did it. It's about 10.30 on day zero, surgery day. Sorry I sound so weird when I'm talking. It's like you can't move your upper lip well and it kind of hurts so I'm trying to talk however is comfortable. Um, yeah, I came back from the surgery center. I think we got home around five, which was a lot later than I was expecting. I think I just, um, I was very groggy coming out of the anesthesia. I ate some applesauce when I got home and then I got in bed and I took a nap. And then when I got up, I ate a fair bit more. And the whole day has basically been like eating little meals and sleeping. And then I finally took, um, half of a pain medicine. I don't really remember what time. Well, my dad made a schedule. We can go look at the schedule. I took my pain medicine at 9 p.m., so an hour and a half ago, and that made me feel a lot better. I slept for like half an hour. I just changed my dressing. It's There's lots of drainage, so that's the update. Um, not a whole lot more I'm gonna do today. I think I'm just gonna get back in bed and see how long I can sleep for. I usually get woken up because this feels heavy and it needs to be changed. That's pretty much what we're doing right now. So it's gonna be a mellow vlogmas tomorrow. Good morning. It's about noon on day one post-op and it's been a little rough. Um, I was basically waking up every hour last night um, because this would get heavy and I would need to change it and I needed to wake up and eat every four hours to take my pain medicine. But today I just feel a lot of pressure. My eyes are really feeling more swollen and I just kind of want to keep them shut most of the time. Um, but I cleaned my nose for the first time and that made such a difference. Just being able to breathe a bit better. I have tubes in there so I could actually breathe really well, which is really nice, but um, it needed to be cleaned. So I did that a little while ago. I brushed my teeth, um, 
I took my first antibiotic today and I've been so fortunate that I've been able to eat and not be nauseous and take all my medicines. Um, but yeah, I just am like really, really swollen. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just like keeping my eyes open for a long time, especially since I'm like sitting outside, it's like kind of tough. So I feel like I'm like cross-eyed right now. Um, but that's the update. I'm feeling, I think I feel worse than I look right now. Um, I don't actually think I look that bad. Or maybe I do, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I've seen videos of people looked a lot worse, so I was kind of expecting to be more bruised. I think I'm just gonna go back inside and ice and maybe try to watch a movie. For anyone wondering, this is what the sleeping setup looks like. It's quite vertical, um, but honestly, this has been great. I don't know how you would sleep not vertical because there's so much drainage, but yeah, I had pillows on either side because I've been icing and we just got a little humidifier set up because I was feeling a lot of pressure. And I have this little tray that we put my um, drinks and toilet paper and stuff in. And that's what we're up to. Honestly, quite pleased at how clean my hair has stayed. This is day, day two hair and it feels nice and fresh. And I was really worried I was going to feel really gross, but I think I'll be up for a bath or something tomorrow maybe. And I'll just put my hair up and I'm honestly feeling pretty good right now. I was taking only half a pain pill and then I finally decided I need a whole one. That's helped. So it's about 1 p.m. now and I was out for a little while. I finally was feeling a little bit more normal. And then I noticed that I was getting a lot of swelling, especially around this eye. So I was like, you're overdoing it, go sit down. So I just iced each side for 20 minutes while I listened to a Crime Junkies podcast and then I felt like I was getting a little bit hungry. And so far I've only really been wanting like applesauce, um, I have these like overnight oats called mush that I've been eating, bananas, like very soft sweet foods. I got these little vegan muffins, I didn't know they were vegan but they ended up being really good um, from Whole Foods that I've been eating. But suddenly, like, rice and chicken broth sounded good, so I just heated up some brown rice. I got this kettle and fire bone broth, so I'm going to heat that up and basically just do, like, rice with chicken broth. Because um, that sounded good and light and, like, will get a little bit of protein in me because I think my body's starting to, like, need protein. These are the blueberry muffins that I got. A 10 out of 10 would recommend. Ta-da! I'm not supposed to have hot food, so I'm going to wait for that to cool down a little bit, but... It's just the seeds of change, brown rice, and some chicken broth, and I spilled. <laughs> the other thing I've been enjoying is flattened ginger ale. I'm not supposed to have carbonated stuff, but they gave me some like flattened ginger ale when I was in the recovery room after surgery, and it sounded so good that I made my dad stop at like um, a gas station on the way home to get some because that just sounded so good. So anyway. I've been drinking that. He just went and got more because we're almost out. He's at the store right now. I was feeling pretty good, so I told him that now would be a good time for him to go to um, the store to pick up some stuff that we needed. I am really, really glad he's here with me. This is like a pretty full-on recovery. So if any of you out there are thinking about doing this, I highly recommend bringing someone who is like sole job is to take care of you because was gonna have Donnie or my brother come but Donnie was working and my brother would have been working too and it's really nice to not feel like you're imposing on somebody because they're just here to help you um, and it's definitely I've needed a lot more help than I was expecting um, so but my dad has been literally an angel it's been so nice having him here it's the end of day one post-op I took half of a painkiller I took a whole one earlier today and I hated how I felt I was just like like couldn't stay awake, couldn't concentrate on anything. It was awful. So I'm hoping tomorrow I won't have to take it, but I took half of one today so that I can hopefully sleep well tonight. Um, but I just finished cleaning my nose, which feels so good. We have a saline spray that you use and then a Q-tip and oh my God. And I decided to take off the lower bandage while I ate. And that's the first time I've been able to do that without like too much drainage. So that felt really nice. I'm like avoiding putting it back on. I know I need to because it's still draining, but I'm really hoping that like by the end of day tomorrow, I won't have to wear it as much because it just feels really nice to be able to like 
breathe. Um, obviously my upper lip is like very frozen right now, which is really funny looking. Um, and my smile is ridiculous. <laughs> um, but yeah, today was pretty rough. That's the update. Not a whole lot going on. I'm really hoping tomorrow I feel better. Day two post-op and I am looking really rough and I am feeling quite rough. Um, I would say today has been a bit better than yesterday, but not a whole lot. I stopped taking the painkillers because they just did not make me feel like myself. So I'm just taking extra strength Tylenol right now. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been a roller coaster. I woke up not feeling great. Finally took a bath today, which made me feel better. Um, and yeah, anyway been a little bit up and down but my dad and I are watching the princess diaries right now and he just made me a smoothie and yeah hanging in there luckily the drainage has stopped so I don't need to wear something under my nose which is a huge huge help because that was just getting really raw and irritated so it's nice to have that off but I've got the full Cindy Lou Who look going on with my upper lip and dad's coming with the smoothie now and we're watching Princess Diaries. Here's the setup. Nice and cozy. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. It's day three post-op. And this is the first day I've started to feel a little bit more normal. Um, I still am not close to sleeping through the night. I think I got up four different times. Maybe it was only three for pain medicine and um, just like a lot of drainage going on. Not blood anymore. Sorry if that's TMI, um, but it's just a lot. Uh, the swelling has really moved further down into my face, so my cheeks are really puffy. My like under my chin is really puffy but the pressure that used to be by my eyes is much lower so it's just much less uncomfortable which is really great um so i woke up this morning actually brushed my teeth which i've been doing every day but like i have had a little bit of a normal routine this morning like i got up i brushed my teeth um i just iced my face my lip was so fat my upper lip um it it goes down pretty quickly when i ice it but then it comes back um I just iced my face for 20 minutes and now I think I'm gonna make some breakfast and make some tea it's 8 45 I'm supposed to take my next pain medicine at 9 so yeah time to eat take my antibiotic I'm off of the like harder pain medicine and now I'm just taking one extra strength Tylenol every four or five hours and that's doing a good job managing um, the discomfort it's not like totally discomfort free it's not pain it's more discomfort but it's not totally discomfort free but um it's manageable and i really just did not like taking the harder pain medicine so yeah um i have a feeling today is hopefully going to be a good day yesterday started rough so um this is sort of how i was hoping i was going to feel yesterday morning and i was pretty disappointed when i felt pretty pretty bad still so hopefully today is going to be a better day the end of day three post-op and I cannot believe how much bruising has gone away. Like, these were so dark yesterday. And now they're almost gone. We watched Princess Diaries. We finished the second one this morning and now we're watching Free Solo. So we've got lots of variety. Um, yeah, I got dressed today. I had another bath and I'm really starting to feel better and better. Good morning, it's day four post-op and continuing to feel better each day. This morning, uh, the bruising is even gone down more than yesterday. Um, my eyes have got like a little bit of, I don't know if it's dry skin or almost feels like eczema, but I just put um, Aquaphor on them and that helped them feel a little bit better because they were getting kind of dry and itchy. Um, the swelling is like really moved further down into my face and I just look so chipmunky. Um, but that's to be expected. So feeling rather ridiculous looking today, but my dad suggested we go for a walk. So I just got dressed. Hair is up in a ponytail as it will probably be until I 
get brave enough to wash it um, or have my dad wash it. And we're gonna go for a walk. Outfit of the day for our walk. I've got black leggings, black Lululemon jacket, cute pink hat from Maya's bachelorette party <laughs> over the summer. Um, I think it really nicely highlights my cute little white nose bandage, courtesy of um, Dr. Tamplin. So yeah, with the hat hiding my face, honestly, my bruises don't even look that bad. My chipmunk cheeks, on the other hand, are, are out in full force. So, but I'm getting my smile back. Yesterday, I like, you, with an eye smiled, you couldn't see my teeth. And now my teeth are coming back. So that's exciting. Um, anyway, let's go for a walk. It's about 5 p.m. and we're going for another walk. I think the last clip I filmed was us going for a walk, but that's the most exciting thing we've been doing these days. <laughs> the sky is really pretty though. Good morning. It's day five post-op and I am feeling good today. Last night was the first night where I didn't set alarms um, to wake up to take any pain medicine. So I ended up going to bed around 10. I woke up around two with some drainage, but like got myself to go back to sleep and then woke up at five more drainage. Um, and at that point I sort of just wanted to eat something because when you're getting a lot of mucus, your stomach can kind of get a little bit upset. So I had an applesauce and then at that point I figured I might as well take a pain medicine. So I took one Tylenol, which is what I've been doing kind of every four to six hours, um, depending on what I need. But honestly, I didn't wake up in like much pain at all. So it felt like it was kind of you know, a nice thing to do, but I didn't need to do it. So that was really, really exciting. Um, went back to bed, didn't set an alarm, kind of woke up around eight, laid in bed until 8.30, got up, rinsed my nose. I've been keeping it really clean. Um, the doctor's office checked in yesterday and asked for pictures of my nose just to make sure that I'm like keeping it clean so that when they remove the stents, which are like these tubes in my nose and take off the cast and everything on Monday, everything kind of goes well. And there's not a lot of, I guess, like built up dried blood and everything that would make it hard to get them out. So they said it's looking beautiful and I'm doing a really good job taking care of my nose. So that was exciting. Um, but yeah, slept well last night, still hard sleeping upright, but um, making do. And the little um, humidifier has been a huge lifesaver. So I love having that in the room because I think it does help keep my nasal passages moist. Um, in terms of the bruising, you can see it's even more yellow today. So I'm hopeful that by Monday, it'll be mostly gone. Um, and yeah, swelling is very much in my lower face, but seems less than yesterday. So all things are looking good. And I'm, yeah, I'm in a good mood this morning, feeling pretty good. Had some breakfast. Um, I still feel like my digestive system is a little off. So I'm looking forward to having that be fully back to normal because I just don't really feel super hungry, I feel a bit constipated, um, but that's to be expected with anesthesia and then, you know, harder painkillers, which I was taking earlier on in recovery. So that's general update. Um, but my dad and I are gonna go for a walk this morning. I think we're gonna try to go for a bit longer of a walk. He suggested that we try to do longer walks over the next couple of days to get prepared for Monday when I'm traveling home. So it's not like a shock to my body when I have to walk a bunch through the airport and stuff, which I actually think is a really smart idea. So. It's supposed to be really nice out today. I think it's gonna be like 78. So we're gonna try to go before it gets too hot. Um, take a little walk and we'll see what we do the rest of the day. Hello, it's a bit later now. I'm sitting outside. Um, so nice and warm. It's like 78 degrees out. I probably should be sitting in like direct sun um, with my face, but not really much shade. Um, here we go. Oh, it's so nice to be outside. We went for a nice little walk this morning. Um, I'm making some tea right now. Gonna have a little banana bread as a snack. My appetite has been so much better. I had some Thai for lunch and yeah, I just am feeling so much more like myself. My dad was like, you're talking more like yourself. You're talking more quickly. You're more animated, which I think he's totally right. I feel like I was in a total like haze for a few days there, um, but slowly it's coming back and I'm feeling more like me. 
So we just spent the afternoon, uh, we watched a TV show, we've been watching Drops of Gold on um, uh, Apple TV, which has been really good. My parents watched that and they've seen the whole thing, but my dad and I started rewatching it. Then I've just been going through emails, starting to like get caught up on work. My work has been so fantastic. No one asked anything of me all of last week, but this week I obviously have to get back into the swing of things. So I've started, yeah, going through emails, answering basic stuff, just like clearing my inbox and making my to-do list of like the bigger projects I have for next week. So I feel like I'm in okay shape. I think it'll be fine. Um, but I will try to knock out a little bit over the next day and a half. Um, and then yeah, tomorrow's our last full day here. And then on Monday we get my cast removed at 10 AM and then fly home on like a 2.30 flight. Just enjoying a little bit of fresh air. My tea's probably ready. Oh, so let's go get my tea. <laughs> What's up guys? We just made it into the car. The most exciting development of Vlogmas in the last five days. Um, we're gonna go to CVS and get me more nasal spray and applesauce so that when I take my pain medicine at random hours, I can have applesauce. And then we're gonna see if we can buy a, a gingerbread house so we can make a gingerbread house. Gotta capitalize on our second to last night here and make it Vlogmas and festive. Excited, Dad? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I need to get in the spirit. I know. He's been saying that all the trip. He's like, I just yeah. know the Christmas spirit yet. And I was like, it's because you don't have your Christmas tree. I got in the Christmas spirit December 1st. We put up our tree. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. A CVS, a Walgreens, and Whole Foods. But we finally got all of the supplies that we needed for our gingerbread house. So let me show you what we got. First of all, we got this Elf on a Shelf gingerbread making kit. Mostly because I like the shape of this house best and we can remove all the elf references. Um, it comes with the house supplies as well as gumdrops and some like little candy dots and um, the icing mix. Then we got more frosting mix from Whole Foods and some food coloring because I had the idea that we could do like a little wreaths and trees and stuff that would be cute um like around the windows that we make or something i don't know all right we're about to start the gingerbread house i have camera number two doing a time lapse so time lapse starts wait let me show you our inspiration then we'll do the time lapse here's our inspiration i found this while we were at the store and i thought that this looked so cute um where's the finished product there's the finished product, something like that. So that's what we're aiming for, but you start with all of the little pieces um, before you assemble it. So we're gonna do that now. Wish us luck. trying to freeze it so we can assemble it. It actually looks pretty good from far away. All right, here's our little gingerbread house. It's slowly losing its roof, but I think it turned out pretty cute. We had a little accident on the back. We lost a gumdrop and he took down, a, <laughs> took down part of the wreath, but it's cute. 